killer. Yo, what's going on guys, it's Gamer here, back again with another video, and today we're going to continue talking about Dragon Ball Fighters. If you didn't see yesterday, yesterday, uh, on the Xbox uh, press conference on, uh, over at E3, uh, they decided to just basically kind of just throw out a world reveal trailer for Dragon Ball Fighters, and uh, you may say that, you may see it on the screen, you may not, most likely I'm just going to be using the gameplay, if you want to watch the actual gameplay just by itself with, well, with no commentary in the background and stuff like that. Go to the link in the description, go check out Rhyme Style's channel. He actually just currently hit 530,000 subscribers, and I think that's amazing. But I'm going to go ahead and just talk about basically just my thoughts and opinions about just the game just by itself and just like my whole just thoughts and opinions about it. The game looks visually, visually stunning in my opinion. Like the game looks so, like art, the art style of the game just looks absolutely amazing. With Arc System Works, uh, what they did with Guilty Gear and Blaze Blue is they basically just try to make it almost exactly like as if you're watching almost an anime in real time. And Dragon Ball Fighters looks very, very, very like, just similar to how you would be watching towards modern anime today. And I, I absolutely just adore the art style and just the look and the visuals of this game. If you, if you watch. If you watch this, uh, the gameplay and, and just the trailer and like 1080p 60 frames per second, the game just looks absolutely just just awe-inspiring. Like it just looks absolutely fantastic. And the gameplay, just the raw gameplay by itself, with um, excuse me, with the uh, the combo, the combos and uh, your Kamehamehas, your Masenkos, and your Key Blasts and stuff like that, that all looks just absolutely amazing as well. Uh, you'll see in, the, in both the gameplay and the reveal trailer that they actually did show uh, Golden Frieza. So Golden Frieza is going to be Dragon Ball Fighters. It, it looks like it's some kind of like transformation system. I don't really know what it is. And the reason why I say it's some kind of transformation system because in the gameplay, uh, Freeze is fighting. I think it's either Goku uh, or Goku or Gohan, one of the two. Even though it's a three v three system, and the whole time uh, they're just fighting each other. Freeze is in his final form, just like uh, just in itself, just without the golden form and stuff like that. And then he, and then in mid battle, he goes he goes golden. So I don't I don't really know if it's some kind of just transformation that's available for Freeze to do uh, in the game. I actually just uh, watched a little bit other gameplay. Uh, while watching uh, Af Afro's video, Afro Senja's video, and Frieza also went full power. That's what it looked like. He went full power, and just all that stuff. And I I this game looks very similar. It plays almost uh, exactly like Guilty Gear. Uh, a little bit of Guilty Gear. Um, no, not not too long ago, like literally just in the last like two days or so, uh, I've been playing a little bit of Guilty Gear. And Guilty Gear is a lot of fun. It looks uh, just visually just amazing. And uh, it just looks, just it just looks amazing. It look the artic the artic uh, the I don't know what word I'm trying to say. The art style and just basically I guess the animation and just the graphics I guess of the game. It looks really good. Arc System Works uh, knows what they're doing when it comes to just making the game uh, by itself look just absolutely amazing. And you know they make fighting games, so I imagine just the the fighting mechanics uh, and the combos and stuff like that. It's gonna work really, really well. So, uh, so uh, I, I just wanted, to, uh, I just wanted to uh, address all of the positives of the game really quick, uh, just really quick first in the beginning of the video. Just, uh, just saying that, like, yes, the character uh, roster right now is smaller. Like, we only have six confirmed characters. That's three heroes and three villains, being Goku, Gohan, and Vegeta, and Majin Buu, Frieza, and Cell. And that's that's six characters out of the whole roster that we know right now. And something right now, I just want to say really quick. Uh, is that for people who are complaining that they're not going to get Dragon Ball Fighters because the roster is small and there's basically just no roster whatsoever? Shut the fuck up! <laughs> just shut the fuck up! Like, obviously, Dragon Ball Fighters doesn't seem like it's headed towards uh, uh, the the casual um, just side of the community for for the Dragon Ball fighting game community, uh, fighting games or Dragon Ball gaming side. Of, just in general, like people who enjoy playing the, the Dragon Ball, the Dragon Ball video games and stuff like that. This is this is obviously obviously just not towards the hardcore crowd. This is uh, or not hardcore. I'm sorry, the casual crowd 
um, like people who uh, who play Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2, and they love and they love that and the size of the roster of the game and stuff like that. I you know people are saying like uh, this game's graphics or whatever don't look uh, as good as Xenoverse uh, Xenoverse 2s, and I am gonna go ahead and say that really quick. That that's stupid to say because. It's like, yeah, I, I, I get where some people may look at Xenoverse 2 and say that the graphics look, like, good, I guess. But I don't think the game, I don't think Xenoverse 2 looks so awe-inspiring. I say awe-inspiring, but I don't think it just, I don't think I don't think Xenoverse 2 just looks that entirely great. And what I mean by that is, I don't, I think people are, are looking at Xenoverse 2's graphics and just art style and they're saying that it looks better than Dragon Ball Fighters when it really doesn't in my opinion I I, I wholeheartedly disagree with people who, who are saying that Xenoverse 2 looks better than Dragon Ball Fighters and all I'm gonna say is is that uh, Dragon Ball Fighters definitely plays better than Xenoverse because all you really need to do in Xenoverse is just click a couple of buttons use use a couple of super attacks and a couple of ultimates and you're basically done with uh, with the match but with Dragon Ball Fighters you have to actually because it's a 3v3 system like Marvel vs. Capcom and at E3 I just want to I just want to point that out really quick at E3 and the uh, PlayStation uh, press conference they actually said that uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite's uh, story mode demo is, uh, is available uh, like today pretty much so at the time of, re of me recording this it hasn't been playable or the PlayStation shop or store hasn't been updated to where I can actually go and download it and play it but I just want to point that out really quick but because this, the the game's fight uh, fight mechanics are basically uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 3 uh, or Marvel vs. Capcom in general because it's pretty much like that it's a 3v3 system uh, the fact that you have to basically take three people and learn how to do their combos Depending on who's gonna be the main and then who's gonna be the support characters And then let's say your main dies you need to know how to play your other characters Obviously and the fact that you need that amount of just mentality and skill and just just all that crazy shit right to be able to do combos for like let's say you're playing Goku and then Goku dies and then let's say one of your other characters is I don't know Yamcha and you don't know how to play Yamcha you're basically just gonna lose the match because you don't know how to play Yamcha you only know how to play Goku you know it's basically just something like it's, it's just something like that you know that's just a just raw example that I can think of off the top of my head that wasn't a really good uh, choice of words I apologize but no like for for people who are saying that like Xenoverse 2 is better than Dragon Ball Fighters. I wholeheartedly disagree. All I'm gonna say is, is that I am excited for Dragon Ball Fighters, and uh, if you guys are excited for Dragon Ball Fighters 2 and you want to see future gameplay on the game, uh, I do plan on streaming it a lot on my Twitch channel. And tomorrow, I actually plan on, on streaming uh, 2, uh, just just in general on a different game. I'll talk about that about the end of, at the end of the video. This is about Dragon Ball Fighters, and. Uh, you know, it looks like Guilty Gear, it looks like it plays like Guilty Gear, and for people who haven't played uh, Guilty Gear uh, Rev 2, uh, I, I would suggest uh, either either buying the game and try it out yourself, or playing the demo, just to get like the, the feel of, uh, of Guilty Gear, because that's basically what it's going to be exactly like if you play Dragon Ball Fighters. I'm sorry, my throat's dry, I haven't, I haven't had anything uh, to drink, like water and stuff like that in, in a little bit, but... That's besides the point. I'm sorry, um, but the game looks great. It looks like it plays great uh, online. I hope the, the game's netcode and connection uh, looks really, really well. Um, one of the key facts that I saw uh, in the gameplay uh, uh, with with the characters and stuff like that, the roster that we have right now, I noticed that Frieza actually uh, used his uh, his disc. Uh, that he used on Goku back in the Namek Saga and he threw it and it looks like they're actually blockable and when they actually return back because they do return back like it does in the anime it looks like if uh, Freeze is not blocking them or whatever uh, it does hurt him it does inflict damage on him so that's going to be a little bit interesting that could easily turn the tide of the battle really quickly if you're not uh, paying attention of uh, using that move just in general uh, but yeah overall I'm I'm really excited for the game uh, it's coming out early 2018 now when in early 2018 uh, that could be literally January February 
Uh, I, I would like to say it would come out in March because that would be the month of my birthday and my birthday is uh, March the 8th so the, uh, if it would come out just on the same month of my birthday that would be really exciting not literally the exact sa same day of my birthday but just in general just just on the day on the month of my birthday would be uh, kind of cool kind of exciting I guess but it doesn't really make that much of a difference early 2018 is basically just the confirmed uh, year date that we were being given but the exact date of when it's gonna be released um, I'll let you know I'll let you guys know in a future video uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep as much inf information on Dragon Ball, uh, Dragon Ball Fighters uh, the more information that we actually get of course because I, I do want to get into this game I want to uh, play the hell out of this game I want to make videos on this game I want to stream this game overall I just want to get really good at the game and just just have fun you know because that's one of the main key facts of me playing fighting games over the uh, course of a couple of years is I like getting good characters and I like, you know, obviously winning. That's what everybody likes, obviously. And, you know, and the fact that this is a Dragon Ball game and it, it's a Dragon Ball fighting game specifically, and Dragon Ball is literally my, my favorite anime just of all time. It's like the first anime that I ever actually properly watched uh, and got really into by watching like all the episodes. And I'm planning on reading uh, the manga soon because I actually haven't ever had a chance to ever uh, read it. Yeah, I apologize if I said something else. I didn't mean to say that. But, you know, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. And if you want to see more content that revolves around Dragon Ball Fighters, be sure to subscribe to the channel for future videos just like this and for also future anime videos on Borto and Dragon Ball Super because, you know, those, those anime are still going on right now and I just like to talk about them and stuff like that and just how I like the episodes. Just overall stuff like that. Anyways... If you guys enjoyed it, drop a like. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, evening, or uh, afternoon. And anyways, I'm going to go ahead and just end it right now. I have really awkward outros. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.